A little bit of composure needed here from the Tongans. Surely the Fijians can't post a comeback in the same sort of vein as they produced against the Welsh in the 2007 World Cup and very nearly against the South Africans in the very same tournament. If there is ever a side that could do it, though, you feel it can be Fiji with their expressive, rapid, quick-fire, slick-handling rugby. We approach the end of an hour. 20 minutes remaining. 33-14, the score to Tonga. Well, engaging early, and the Tongans not only have conceded the penalty, but they conceded an extra 10 yards as well. Taken quickly now by Buatavu on at scrum half. He pops it inside to Ravulo. Ravulo up beyond that 10-yard line again, collected by Volau. Volau to Buatava. Buatava going down the short side, but this is knocked forward by the Fijians. A whistle has gone. And it will be another penalty now. And Fiji are surging back into this contest. Kick towards the corner. However, touch has been missed. That's a poor kick from Nicky Little, and it should be cleared away. Only up to halfway, though. This is where the Fijians are at their most effective. Plenty of pace and room to build up ahead of steam here. And Ganeva takes full advantage to take play up to the edge of the 22. It will be a penalty. However, can Buatava find the ball? The answer is no. Penalty again. They look to take it quickly. Gavea takes it quickly. And words are going to be exchanged here. Who's the captain? Saimu Vahafaula will be called forward. It happened to you earlier in the game about the freedom of free being uh, in the tackle. There's been a good period. There's no creeping back. You've got to get the discipline up, otherwise somebody's going to the bin, please. So, if discipline, in ill discipline is continued here, Marius Jonker will be brandishing a yellow card. <laughs> Taken short by the Fijians, showing their intent here, the skipper, Deacon Manu. Into the 22. Fired up again. Just kept in the hands. Solid defence continues from the Tongans, but it's offside, been awarded, and a half a break made by Buatava. They need to let this release. They've got plenty of numbers out wide. If they can just move it quickly, they haven't, though, and Tuapati is brought to the ground. Buatava again. Forages for the ball. Lava Balavu is out wide, inside is Vuli Vuli, Vuli breaks a tackle, but then he's brought to ground. Chance back inside, still the Fijians pour forward. Great opportunity, Buatava will be another penalty. And it looks as though Alisona Tamalolo could receive a yellow card here. Marius Jonker reaches to the pocket. He has just warned for Is that number one? Here we go, swinging on. Yellow card, brandaged. Very reluctant to show the referee the back of his shirt to reveal that it was Tamalolo. Great defence from the Tongans to prevent them going over. However... Fourteen against fifteen. Space. Chance for the try and scored. Malakai Ravulo goes over. And the fourteen of Toga are right up against it. It is a second try. Malakai Ravolo going over just next to the posts. And the Fijians with a great opportunity now through Nicky Little to reduce that deficit once more. Well, how are Tonga going to find a way back? Especially considering they've got to play another 10 minutes with just the 14 men on the pitch. 
breaking the tackle and scoring under the posts. Nicky Little will add the extras and it will reduce the deficit to a mere 12 points. So, just over 10 minutes against 14. Can Fiji come back? Two thousand seven hundred and eighty six hours of sunshine per year. One thousand two hundred and forty four islands. Five hundred and seventy six fish species. One hundred and thirty native grape varieties. Fourteen UNESCO heritage sites and treasures of tradition. Simply too much for a 30 second commercial. Just enough for a perfect holiday. Croatia, the Mediterranean as it once was. Plucked up the top, Phyllis out. Up into the 22, has good support. Looks as though it was knocked forward though. And it will be a penalty to Fiji. Well, they need a little introduction to counter attack. And it's fired very quickly out into the midfield. Albert Vuli hasn't had his best game. He's been brought crashing to ground the outside centre, but he manages to get the ball moving. The Fijians surging back into contention here. Quickly move through the hands. Getting a bit of a stumbling block here, but Buatava manages to get them back on the front foot. Popped out wide. Just can't quite make that decisive break and it's been turned over. Interception there. Aleska Taufa. Scored the second try for the Tongans. And they just need a few minutes where they protect possession here. Hands on, Clay, hands on. Picked up and driven forward by Sione Vaimuonga. Gians desperately need to get their hands back on the ball, whereas Tonga will just want to play some time down. <laughs> Whistle goes. And it is crossing, taken very quickly by Buatava. Buatava goes galloping down the field, out wide. Ganeva beats two, still has possession, takes play up towards the Tongan 10-yard line. Buatava, Nicky Little fired out, massive hit comes in again. This time, literally pole-exing Kavabati to the ground. Back inside, momentum needed. There's the second try scorer, Malakai Ravulo. Buatava. Nicky Little. Handling is awry in the middle, but it's tidied up by Vuli Vuli. Half a break, and just don't want to give these guys chances to run, and Valau and Nakarawa have shown just how potent they can be as attacking forces. Support comes from Luveni Ali. Pushed forward again. They managed to just hold on to possession. Looked as though it was going to be lost for a second there by Wakuni Baroto. Kept alive again. It's all becoming a little slipshod from the Fijians, but sometimes that's the way they like it. Ten phases of play and an opportunity to burst through the middle. Delai, just short of the line. Picked up again and driven forward. The Tongans must try and survive because if Fiji were to score now, Tonga would find themselves under serious pressure into the concluding moments of the game and the Vigians would have every chance of snatching a very improbable victory. Ten yards short of the line, Buatava waits. Driven forward. They need to recycle. They have gone through so many phases of play. They also need to ensure that they get some points. On his own goes Deacon Manu. Looks for the support. Has it. Now just five yards short, the Fijian crowd raise a cacophony of noise here at Churchill Park. Out wide, Nicky Little into the middle once again. It takes four Tongans, but they manage to bring Bully Bully to the ground. Out wide again, Nicky Little. This time he goes for the line. 
Boachaba turned over by the Tongans. Brilliantly done and carried forward by Lilo. And they've got a chance of a break here. Flung out wide. And here goes Iongi. And here goes Iongi. An explosion of pace from the winger. And he pulls himself away. And Iongi's going to score a decisive try for the Tongans. Down to 14. Up against it on their own line. Iongi runs the length of the pitch. Flings the ball through his legs after touching down. That fourth try is vital. And Viliami Iongi has extended the lead once more. And it is the visiting fans who suddenly fill the ground with noise. Red and white is the colour rather than black and white that becomes most prominent in the stands. And Tonga are back in control with just a few moments to go. A vital score here. He was knocked forward by Buatava, brought clear by Lilo. He managed to fling it out wide and then Telefoni threw a very, very speculative pass to Iongi who just put his head down and went... And he went searing past Nicky Little. And then he went searing past Nagasu. And scores under the posts. Well, a chance to pause and get his breath back. No chance for Kurt Morath to do that. But he does add an extra two. And he's still a 100% record with the boot from Kurt Morath. And 19 points, the difference between these two sides. Well, it just looked that the Fijians were going to be able to cause a comeback, cause a sensation here by coming back. That would have taken all of the wind out of their sails. However, not all of it as they gallop forward, but turnover again. And this time it's Tonga playing with a new spring in their step and carried forward by Hehea. Hehea manages to find Kalamafoni. Kalamafoni inside the 22. The Tongans look for support. Picked up and carried forward. This is rampant from Tonga. Filisau out wide and just head down towards the line from the loose head prop forward and Tamalolo just back on. Well, did he get downward pressure on the ball? I'm sure is what the Fijians are asking. Marius Young could think so. The try is awarded. So Tamalolo rubs insults into injury. Great pace shown here from the loose head. And, well, did he have control over the ball? Marius Jonker felt he did, and only just back on after serving his 10-minute suspension for that yellow card. Tamalolo's all but made up for it, scoring in the corner, extending the lead to 45 points to 21. 24 the difference. Tonga have started to run away with this one once again, and all of that hard work from the Fijians in the final quarter looks as though it will be for nothing. Kurt Marath, 8 from 8 so far. And this, you'd have to say, is his most challenging effort so far. It has the legs, but it's back off the upright. Unfortunate for Marath. And the shrill blast from Marius Jonker means that is the final whistle. So Tonga have won their first match for three years in the Pacific Cup of Nations. Final try from Tamalolo. They outscored Fiji five tries to two. The final